Hello, hello, my darlings, and welcome to Desserteries. Today, we're going to be looking at where pavlova comes from. And this is quite an interesting history because there are two countries that are fighting over who invented it. But first, let's look at what pavlova actually is. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you have probably seen it in restaurants or online. It's a little basket, a uh, meringue basket that's filled with cream and then topped with fresh fruit a lot of the time. This is what it consists of. Egg whites, caster sugar, an acid like lemon juice or vinegar, vanilla essence, and most importantly, cornstarch. Now, I will tell you why cornstarch is so important in this story a bit later on in the video. But let's first see who exactly Pavlova was named after. Anna Pavlova was a very famous Russian ballerina that toured in the early 20th century. She was born in 1881 and she toured the world in 1926. So this is where the naming of the dessert apparently comes from. So let's see what the Australian side has to say. They say that it was invented at a hotel called the Esplanade, or Esplanade, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, in 1935 in Perth, okay? And it was invented by Chef Herbert Sash. Again, sorry if, I, <laughs> sorry if I'm saying the names incorrectly, but I'm trying. So it was actually named once the house manager, Harry Nairn, I don't know again if I'm saying it incorrectly, named it once he said, it is as light as Pavlova. And that is the general story of how the Australians say they invented pavlova. But, bum, 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 New Zealanders would have a lot to say about that. And what is it that they're saying? Well, this is their side of the story. Apparently, according to them, a chef at Wellington Hotel made it, and it was inspired by Anna's tutu, which is actually pretty cute. It looks like a nest but it was inspired by her tutu. And this recipe appears apparently in 1927. So if you remember the dates, we have Australia saying it was developed in 1935, but then we have New Zealand saying that it was developed in 1927. The thing is, new research has found that New Zealand and Australia may not actually be the origin of pavlova. So, where did it actually come from, guys? So, new research with a trace back recipes has shown that it actually began in Germany as a German tort, and then it was exported to America, interestingly. So, this is where cornstarch, like I said earlier in the video, comes in. Cornstarch was actually invented by Thomas Kingsford in 1842 in New Jersey, America. And it was first used for laundry and other industrial purposes. But what's really interesting is the Mazina company in the US started shipping the cornstarch to New Zealand in the 1890s. And what these researchers found, guys, is that there were pavlova type recipes that were shipped out from America to New Zealand. So I don't know, that is all of the information that I could find. I don't know what you want to believe, but that is a very interesting type of history. I don't want to get in to the middle of anything. So there you have it. You can decide for yourself where Pavlova actually comes from, who invented it, when it was invented. All I know is, is that it is super yummy to chow down on. Thank you for joining me. I will see you on the next Desserteries. I'm your girl, Chef Cherie. I'm out. Woo, ballerina.